uh, we have a couple of management joining and they are the important ones who will benefit as India unlocks uh, and uh, restrictions get removed in state after state. So among the first companies that hopefully will benefit is Mahindra Holidays and joining us now is the management uh, of the company. We are joined by Mr. Kavinder Singh, the CEO and Managing Director. Uh, good morning, uh, Mr. Singh. Thank you very much. Uh, have you noticed uh, people beginning to take interest? Uh, uh, I remember in days of yore, it was difficult to get that one week that was assigned to us by Mahindra Holidays. You always got it when you will least get leave. But now, uh, are people rushing in to book their, their one weeks? Yes, uh, Lata, we are indeed seeing uh, a great momentum looking forward into the future, particularly if you look July and beyond. Uh, by the way, as you know, there are currently, even now, there are restrictions down south. Uh, the resorts and hotels are not allowed to open, particularly in Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu. But we expect some of that to actually change after 15 June. Uh, the real uh, focus right now is getting our staff fully vaccinated. We are well on our way to do that. And our resorts are opening as we speak. And most importantly, as I mentioned to you, the booking momentum, particularly going forward into the future, looks very good because we, as you know, we do forward bookings for at least uh, four months in advance. But more generally, uh, Mr. Singh, are people uh, booking? I mean, are you getting fresh clients at all or uh, has COVID uh, scared off people? What kind of revenue growth can you see, for instance, in FI22? Okay, uh, just to give you a flavor of what's going on uh, in terms of the consumer sentiment, I think April, uh, we had decent momentum, particularly in the first 15, 17 days of April. But definitely during the second COVID wave, we have seen the consumer sentiment getting affected, uh, particularly when it comes to member additions. But if you really look at starting June, we are seeing again a positive momentum. And I think it's very, very simple in my mind. The way I see it is that now holidays are back on the minds of people. We believe that as the restrictions come down and they will, because the vaccination rates are moving ahead and even airlines would probably make the uh, you know, uh, case for the RT-PCR tests to be possibly not to be done once the people are vaccinated. The travel is bound to take off, yep. particularly no, the drivable... Kavinder, uh, what was the uh, addition in April and May? You told us for your right. Q4 additional members were 4,700, which was a big improvement over the previous three quarters. What was it in April, May at all? You, you added any members? So we have added members and we are continuing to add members, Lata. Uh, the momentum is going to pick up again in June, as we have noticed. May, definitely. Uh, I think every the consumer discretionary players have been affected because of the severity of the lockdown and the sentiment. But definitely, I see in June momentum coming forward. And most importantly, people wanting to think about holidays and the inquiries are picking up, particularly for member editions and bookings as well. So um, can you give us some more numbers in terms of what was the exact occupancy that you saw in Q1? And you said forward bookings have picked up as well. Uh, any more numbers that you can provide? So, uh, if you really look at it as per the government regulations, the restrictions were so severe that even though we kept our resorts open, particularly in April, and in maybe had no choice because there wasn't any traffic coming in, uh, the occupancies are not truly relevant right now because when there are restrictions, people can't come and it doesn't really uh, show the underlying strength of the business. You know that in January, February, March, when we didn't even have vaccination in full steam, we hit 85% occupancies. Mm. So we have a playbook ready. The moment the restrictions go down, we are likely to see occupancies going back to the levels that we have seen in quarter four. Okay. So, uh, Kavinder, what is your minimum fixed cost? And uh, when do you expect to come back to the green? I guess you have had a couple of quarters of red. Uh, yeah. Even, uh, uh, I, th I think, full year last year was a little bit of red. You think yeah. you will mean the green this year and which quarter? Okay, so the good news uh, that I want to share with you is that at standalone level, we have always been profitable, even in the last four quarters and the full year level. If you really look at our numbers, our profit before tax for the full year grew by about 37%. So was profit after tax. How is that uh, possible? But, if all of them uh, are shut, how, how can you make money? You, you will know, have costs, so, no? 
So the the way it works, that's what I want to share with you is that our business model is very different from traditional hospitality sector. The way you you have to just think about our mem- uh, business as a business where we have two hundred fifty thousand member base. We have annuity revenue streams. Just for you to know, last year we had nine hundred and three crores revenue top line, and out of that, a significant part, which is about eight hundred crores, is more like a annuity revenue. And if I look at even our cash position, which will actually give you more comfort, moved up from seven eighty crores to nine forty crores, despite the capital expenditure which kept on going through. So we are a different business model. We have annuity revenue streams both on vacation ownership revenue because we have memberships whose revenue keep accruing over the years, as well as the annual fee which kept coming. So the way to think about our business is, and by the way, every quarter we proved our occupancy. In quarter three we were at seventy five percent. In quarter two last year we were at thirty percent, and in quarter four we were at eighty five percent. So even our resort revenues, which are period revenues. Grew by about 18 percent on quarter on quarter basis. So we have hit pre-pandemic levels even before the vaccination started in quarter four. Okay, that's good to hear. Uh, you have been, uh, you know, working on several international destinations as well to support your revenues. How is international travel now? Has it come back to normalcy? And what percentage of your business is it currently? How much can it grow to? So uh, the international business for us, as you know, uh, we have resorts in uh, holiday through holiday club resorts. Uh, we, of course, at through Club Mahindra, have resorts in Southeast Asia, whether it is Singapore, Kuala Lumpur, and various other countries. Uh, the uh, international business, when we speak about it, is the holiday club resorts, which is a company based out of Helsinki, Finland, and they have resorts in Sweden and Grand Canary, Spain. That business in quarter two last year turned positive. In terms of EBITDA, definitely in quarter three and quarter four they were affected by the second and third wave. As we speak, they are coming out of the third week wave, and their holiday season is actually July, August, September. So we are looking at another great quarter in July, August, September for holiday club resorts as well, because the Finland has taken full control of Corona now. Their vaccination rates are very good, and the resorts are open, and we are seeing again a very positive momentum looking forward into the July, August, September quarter. All right, Kavita, we'll have to leave it at that. But all the very best. Good to hear that the way you all are structured, you all are able to stay on in the green at the EBITDA level, and hope this year is much better for you and for all holidayers. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Okay, well, with that, uh, Nishchal, uh, there are going to be a lot of unlock places which are available at good values, Mahindra Holidays or any such unlock place you like. Uh, I think Lata, it is best to avoid any of these places basically because there is too much uncertainty around it. You are not sure actually whether there is uh, th- third wave is going to come, what time, what is going to happen. Because I think the uh, vaccination numbers in India is not great, and uh, though we have plans, we have to see how of those uh, plans get rolled out. Uh, so there is a fairly high chance basically that maybe in the third or the fourth quarter you will have another wave coming in. And again, you will have some amount of lockdown. So I think it's best to avoid these for the moment. I think go for more uh, consumer-driven where it is a necessity to consume. Go for those kind of places rather than actually playing the uh, this thing because there's too much uncertainty around. Okay, fair point. Uh, now, uh, Nishal, what about some of these uh, telecom names, uh, Bharti and Vodafone?